everyone it is Marie here from Skeins on this lovely Thursday before a nice long weekend um, actually one of the last we'll have for quite some time and I don't know what many of you have liked but we have had the most stunning weather in here in Hawke's Bay and it's been absolutely fantastic but I understand the end of the golden weather is going to come this weekend which might mean we might get some sort of guilt-free stitching time, which would be just fantastic. Uh, as many of you know, I went to Auckland last weekend and went to Woolfest in Kumu and it was absolutely incredible. Uh, Margaret, you are a national treasure. I just want that to be said. Uh, the wonderful Margaret May, who spearheads the event with her wonderful capable team from Creative Fibre Auckland. Uh, they really have turned this into such an absolutely quintessential event on the Yarni calendar. Um, utterly amazing across four sheds at the QMU showgrounds. The venue was brilliant, heaps of parking, um, loads more space. It really was fantastic. I can't really tell you what was in the other sheds because I was so busy that I didn't even get out of my own shed. But we had loads of fun while we were there. And I have to admit, the car went back a lot, lot lighter than what it did when it went up. And it was actually a really lovely chance to catch up with so many of you. Um, and even though the chats were very brief because we were so full on, it was just really nice to put some faces to name, see people that I haven't seen for ages. And for everyone to get a chance to sort of feel and squish and have a really nice, um, a nice time. And what we did have there was the mahana the new Mahana colours, um, and the one that was just an absolute, the Mahua, which is this beautiful gold, it does appear slightly green, I think, on my camera because I'm wearing bright green, but this uh, Mahua was incredibly, incredibly popular, uh, and it was just so nice for people to be able just to scrunch it and squish it and just totally, totally enjoy it. Uh, and, and all those colours were beautiful and autumnal and oh, it was just, yeah, it really was, was quite amazing. Um, and also there as well, we had uh, Moody Hughes DK and Moody Hughes Sock Petition Edition, both of which had special pricing on them. And especially when it comes to the Sock Petition Edition, we don't do special pricing terribly often. But we do for shows, just to uh, make it easy from a change perspective and do something a bit special. And the Moody Hughes DK, which are our straight solid versions, I had a very, very sharp price on that. And one of the things that I realised across, for everybody that was there, they really enjoyed all the pricing that we had on everything. So what I have gone and done, that's what I've been doing the last couple of hours, I've just loaded those three yarns, plus a few other little extra bits and pieces, into its own special category called Queen's Birthday Sale. Don't panic, I will add the link to the comments. And you can get that Wolfest pricing, Wolf, basically now for the weekend. So I'm extending the Little Skeins Wolfest across Queen's Birthday weekend for you. So that is loads of fun. If you, um, there were some of you I know that missed out on colours, um, particularly Moody Hughes and Mahana that you wanted to get, you will now be able to get those, which is brilliant. You'll be able to pick those up and purchase those that now this weekend. And I've also popped a couple of other little bits and pieces in there to remind you that these are literally the last ofs. One of which is um, Lumiere. Uh, we're now down to the last uh, few colours of this, three colours of this left. We did find, um, actually this is old rose, uh, found half a carton of this, which has now just been loaded back up onto the website. And there is five mile bush and Clifton stone. So that's all been added to that page to make it nice and easy for you to find. Also added to that page, because it's Queen, is Queen B, the last of the discontinued Queen B colours are there. And they have been dropped to cost price. So essentially it's cost plus GST, that's the price of what's on offer. And you can actually pick those up, which is $15 a scale, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, Vicky is asking, well, I have these specials in store. Uh, we're essentially only open, uh, yes, well, yes, is the, yes and no is the short answer to that. You're best to actually purchase them online because because once they've all gone, they've gone. So, uh, but yes, they will, they will be in the store as well. So if you are popping in, you can collect them. Uh, so again, silver lining, that is in there. These, these have been discontinued due to raw material supply. So if you want to pick these up and get them in, the, in your stash, you do need to do so now. 
And because I'm me, I have been, I jumped onto the red for, um, just before um, under what's hot right now. And there are two patterns that have popped up in the top 20 um, today, both of which are free, so they fall into our free love category, which officially ends um, at the end of tomorrow. But because it is the long weekend, I will roll over and do the new theme um, when I get back next week. So you can still get your free love in for the Queen's Birthday weekend. Um, and the first one I wanted to show you is this one here called Welcome by Anna Kahala. A really gorgeous little kimono style um, raglan shaped garter stitch jumper, baby jumper. Um, and that is free only until the 3rd. So it's free this weekend if you want to get that jumper. But why I pulled it off was it is knitted, it will be perfect for the silver lining because it is knitted for the finer weight yarn and silver lining will absolutely be ideal for that little cardigan. So if you've got some silver lining in the stash already and you're looking for a really good little wee baby cardigan, this one will be an absolute cracker. Um, and the other one I pulled down was this little beauty here called Sweet Biscuit by Alessandro Estrella. And he has written um, this beautiful, simple, triangular shawl. Um, and I, what caught my eye, of course, is the mohua. That would look stunning in the mohua. Um, written for a DK weight yarn, 4mm and 4.5mm needles and a shawl weight, so DK no problem. Nyx Talisman would also look incredible in this pattern. Both of those patterns are free and available on Ravelry. Again, I'll pop the links to those um, in the comments, so do make sure you check those out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know about as well on the page is I've also loaded up some chunky yarn. If you're after some chunky, we've got this little guy here. It's, oh gosh, the colour does not look good on the screen. It's so much better in real life. Um, that there is called Kanuka. It is actually a really nice, rich, sort of brighter, uh, sagier green. Um, 14 ply, gentle machine wash. And that is available now for five dollars a 100 gram bore in that page. So if you're after a chunky project, quick knitting, that is there. And last but not least, I have had people asking me the hot question, both in Palmerston and again in Auckland, when is Southland going to be back? So it started coming back and then it stopped. Um, but the balling machine has now been up and running and the stocks have started coming through pretty steadily. And I've noted that a lot of those stocks have started being loaded in and are starting to pop up. In fact, I can tell you right now. Oh, there we go. Um, yes, most of Southlander sports are now back up and back live. There's only a couple that we're just sort of waiting for stocks on, but the rest of them are now pretty much there, which is brilliant. But more important than that, the oatmeal is now in. So this is the Southlander oatmeal, both in sport and in bulky, which we have not had before. We've only had this in DK. We had to wait for our new batch of um, uh, blender to come through because we do these uh, natural bases in 300 kilo lots. We had to wait for the first last lot to go out before we could get this next lot in. So, so excited, especially with the sport weight, to actually get this um, there for you because it now gives you a heathered contrast um, instead of cream because up until now it's just been cream. Um, so you've now got this beautiful, beautiful, lovely, light, soft, heathered grey, which you can add into your colour work with those deeper colours. So I'm super, super excited about that. This is now photographed and loaded and live on site, as is the bulky. So if you've got a nice collection of Southlander at home um, and you've been waiting uh, for the oatmeal, it is there, it is live, go and grab it. Um, it is up and ready, and that's it, uh, the usual Southlander $14.95 price. So I'm really happy about that. I've also got plenty of yarns coming next month. Uh, Mahana is going to be getting a friend called Uffy. And in fact, I've got a little bit of Uffy I can show you. Just a little hint of it here that we've knitted up. So Uffy is a, uh, a wrap yarn, an alpaca. So it's essentially the alpaca of Mahana, but in a different construction. So instead of a worsted spun construction, which is your normal construction, this is actually a wrap spun yarn. So it's actually got a very fine polyester thread that's been wrapped around to give you this beautiful textured yarn. So when knitted up, 
there you go. Here's a little bit of garter. You get this sort of really lovely, interesting texture. We've gone and done Afi deliberately in exactly the same colours as Mahana. And we've gone and done that. So when you go to do a project, if you're wanting to do a project but add some texture to the project, but make sure that you've got a mixture of both smooth and beautiful, lovely, bubbly texture, you can do so, but the colours will actually work your way through and you'll have that magic it really will be fantastic um, so you'll be able to do things like you know lovely cardigans but have long cuff sleeves and the, the extra te texture of this or vice versa um, so that is all being dyed and we're just waiting for that to come through and also to the new merino um, which is replacing the heritage organic merino that is nearly here. I've seen the finished dyed colours of those and it looks amazing. The construction is different and it really does look incredibly good. And the pearl has been dying too. I know loads of you have been waiting for pearl to come back. So in the next couple of months, June, July, there's going to be loads of exciting new things turning up. Just in time for winter knitting and winter winter stitching, winter crocheting, which is really exciting. But other than that, enjoy your long weekend uh, for Queen's birthday. Hopefully you'll get a break and you'll get a chance to put your feet up and do a bit of knitting. I've actually been doing some spinning. I've only got a couple of, in fact I've been spinning and then in between I've been crocheting my scrappy blanket. I haven't actually need to cast on um, my winter sort of, project as it were but I have been spinning and I um I might, you may have seen the Instagram post I popped up of a pinky sort of uh, yarn that I spun just to get back into it hadn't spun for a while but here's the new one that I've just finished Ooh, look at that absolutely beautiful um merino silk from the lovely Lynn Walsh from um Fiber to Go absolutely adore it thank you Lynn um I bought this from her from Can I think last year or the year before and I just love it. The colours are just oh, so me. So I'm going to do something special with that. In fact, I might even cast that on over the weekend. So in the meantime, have a great weekend. I'll pop the links up for everything you need to know here in the video and look out in your inbox uh, for links as well for pretty much everything that I've said here. So in the meantime, I'll talk to you next week with new themes, loads of winners. We're going to be drawing heaps of winners for free love and make sure we get those in over on the speakeasy. But until then, see you later.